Hello everybody, welcome back to the Barbed Wire Ranch here on Ravenport Field 7. Today we're going to do a video on silage. Uh, silage guys, like I said, you'll need silage for your cows, which we're going to be getting soon. Uh, you can also sell silage at the BGA, at the biogas plant, if you own the biogas plant. Uh, this year in 19, you must own the BGA to sell your loose silage there. So let's get started. Uh, we still have some grass left in our loading wagon, as you can see from doing our sheet the other day. So let's lower a pickup and turn on our forage wagon, or our loading wagon, I mean, and pick up some more grass. See, we've got some grass cut here, guys. Silage can be made two ways. You can make it from grass or chafe from raising crops in your field such as corn which corn corn gives you the best overall yield for silage so we're doing grass uh, like I said guys no big deal uh, grass or foraging with a harvester a forage harvester so we're going to fill up our loading wagon and uh, we're going to take it over here at the BGA and make some silage so we'll finish filling it up we'll fill this wagon up like I said I believe it holds 56,500 liters we're almost there already <coughs> and then we'll head over there which is the BGA here in Ravenport. Like I said, we bought Field 7 right beside the BGA. We also purchased the BGA. I bought Field 7 for its convenient location, guys, and we're full, so let's head over here to the BGA. And here we are at the BGA. Now, as you can see, we already have some silage right here in our bunker. So we'll empty this into our empty bunker. Guys, your bunker must be completely empty. As you see, our fill level of chafe is zero. Uh, even if that fill level is like two, guys, uh, you cannot drop into a bunker. So let's dump this here, unload here. And we'll just drive slowly, about three to four mile an hour, and empty out this grass into our bunker. So there we have that, guys. I ran into the fence there. Now, we ain't going to put a bunch in here, guys. I'm just going to show you real quickly how it's done. So let's run down. Oh, forgot to shut the engine off on the old radar. So let's run down here right fast. Uh, now, guys, like I said, uh, I've got a leveler system on the tractor here as you see i'll put it on the tractor here in a second here it is just levels it out blade just push it around and level her to flatten uh you do not have to use that guys you can actually just back over it with the loading wagon that i had attached and your tractor just run it over you don't have to do nothing fancy guys uh so the tractor is not here so what i'm going to do is just run over it with a loader right quick guys all you have to do is compress this silage down. So here's what we're going to do. We'll just get up on this and run it over. See, compacting level, guys, as you can see, watch. It'll start climbing 2%, 6%, 7%, 10 uh, It does take a little while longer with a tractor or say the loader. That's why I do use the leveling system, which you can buy in shop, and I'll show you where that is. We'll go over here to implements and go over here to levelers there it is uh, here's the blade I have guys the MSS 3000 and the Stego 485 now you can use these as well to push it around and stuff but I bought this system here like I said under 10 grand around 10 grand guys uh, we'll get you that system you just hook it on the front of a tractor uh, so we got 33% this does like I said take a while guys with a loader or just a regular tractor by itself so what I'm going to do I'm going to park this here I'm going to tab over and find 
my uh, 7R. Where's it at? Here? There it is. See, guys, I put the duels on it. Let's run back over at BJ. We're just right beside it. We'll cut right through here. And we'll hook our blade system and our lever. Uh, our lever and our packer, I mean. Oh, run it over. Now it's back up here. We'll hook up to our packing wheel. Oh. Well, just tilt it back around. Let's back up here and we'll hook up. There it is. Right, now what you want to do, guys, you want to drop this front blade down. Not all the way to the ground. There we go. Add it on the packer. And we're going to go ahead and lower our packer. So we'll go over that. And let's just drive, guys. That's all you gotta do. As you see here, you'll notice, see the silage chafe right now. It's chafe, not yet silage. It's being pushed around. Now watch how much faster, guys, it compacts. Alright, so let's raise our blade back up here. Spread that little piece out, run it over, and just back over it one more time. There you go, guys. You have your 100% percent compaction level. Now we'll get out of here and we'll park just over here. Just out of the way. Shut the engine off and get out. Now let's go over here. Now you have to cover it, guys. So what you're going to do is step in here and you can see bunker silo, L3, blanket silo, I mean, popped up. So we're going to hit L3 and blanket it. That's all it is, guys. As you see, you have a fermentation rate. We're at 1%. So you can speed time up and ferment it quicker or just do your daily chores and let it do it on its own. See, as I said, we already have silage here fermented. So we're going to get into our loader. You can hear the kids here in the background. We're going to drop our bucket down. And we're going to just fill this bucket up with silage right quick, guys. There you go. Almost 3,000 liters, this bucket holds. So we're going to bring it over here and feed it into the BGA. It has a bunker right here for silage, a little hopper. And there that is. So we'll just dump. As you can see the scale number there, guys, right here to the left of the loader is going up. We put in almost 3,000 liters. Now, on 17 and on 15, if you guys are familiar with silage on FS17 or FS15, you got paid instantly, not on 19. On 19, you get paid at midnight. That is when your clock hits uh, 0000. zero, zero, zero. So you can dump in it all day, guys. It's not going to pay you nothing right away. It pays you at the end of the day for whatever you have put in to the BGA. So we'll drop another one right here. You can drop in the trigger too, guys. Right here, see the little trigger area? You can dump it in there, and it's still going to go up. I just like dumping into the actual hopper for realism. And that's all there is to silage, guys. Like I said, cut you some grass or... Uh, you can buy a forage harvester. We'll go over here to tools. I mean to vehicles. Forage harvesters down here. There you go, guys. Any of these forage harvesters you can use. Uh, after you buy you a forage harvester, you must buy you a head. That's why I do grass. It's a lot cheaper, guys. So, I mean, you're starting out in silage. Start out in grass. You go to, where's the headers at for forage harvesters? Let's see here. There's regular headers. <clears throat> there we go. Forage harvester headers. As you can see for New Holland, Crone. Now these are uh, mower heads for a forage harvester. Now these, this is a, uh, this is not exactly, this just rolls things up. Your cha uh, grass and stuff like that. So you can use it for straw to turn right here, the Crone uh, Easy Flow. You could take straw that you've, uh, after you've harvested and laid it in the field, 
from your harvester you could take this head and just run over it shoot it into a tipper uh well actually guys but i now these right here you're going to use for the chrome stuff you'll use them for corn but i just make it out of grass guys a lot easier a lot simpler you can use these small mowers mow grass fields and stuff wind roll it up use a loading wagon uh loading wagon and mowers are your cheapest way to get into silage guys so we're gonna go over here and we'll do another scoop or two that'll give us some extra income we're uh, up to 79,000 so uh, here shortly we're gonna do some horses because like I said we've been doing an animal at a time in our how-to series so let's dump us another load in here Now the bunker here, guys, will hold the hopper to, at the BJ will hold 50,000 liters of silage. And like I said, you feed silage to your cattle. Uh, when we do cattle, the only way to get 100% productivity out of cows is to use TMR, guys. That's total mixed rations, which consists of hay straw and uh silage and the reason i've not done a straw tutorial which i can if you guys want me to if you want me to leave a comment and i'll do a straw tutorial straw is very simple guys you get straw from harvesting oats wheat or barley uh, all you do on your harvester is turn on your uh, enable your straw swath and when you harvest your oats hay wheat or barley it'll just straw out straw right behind you already wind rolled up nice little rolls run over it with a loading wagon or with a baler and bale it and you got a straw straw is very simple so we're going to do another load right here right quick and that'll do it for silage today guys If you found this video helpful, like and subscribe. We'd appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. And we'll see you the next time when we do some horses. Thanks for watching.